Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Peppa and baby Margaret are stepping through our little fairy door to a magical fairy land where they will receive some fun little gifts from the fairies. The first house they arrive at looks like a red mushroom. Hello, I am Rosie the Red Fairy. There is a gift inside the house for you. Just open the yellow door and pull it out. Oh, look! It's some magical fairy dust. Ooh, it's so pretty. And the bottle is taller than me. That fairy dust will bring you good luck wherever you go. Now, head to the east and you will find another fairy house. Peppa and baby Margaret come across a purple fairy house that looks like an upside down flower with a little ladybug crawling on it. Hello, our names are Lily and Jasmine. Please enjoy your gift inside the purple fairy house. This time, baby Margaret opens the door. She sees a string and pulls it out. It's a little white bag with a jeweled container inside. The pink jeweled container is the shape of a heart and out falls a little fairy and she's holding a little shiny jewel. Lily the fairy flies over. This little fairy is to be placed on your nightstand when you sleep. She will bring you good dreams. Thank you for visiting our magical fairyland full of imagination. Margaret puts her fairy safely in the pink box. And her and Peppa head home. She places the fairy on her nightstand before bed and goes to sleep and has the greatest dreams. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Peppa and George are helping Mommy Pig do laundry. Peppa loves to help her mom out with the chores. Okay, Peppa, we need to put all of the clothes in the washing machine. Peppa puts in her clown outfit, her big pink fluffy rug from the craft room, George's little yellow jacket, and Peppa's dance tights. Now we shut the door. Mommy Pig knows that laundry detergent should be eco-friendly and biodegradable so it doesn't hurt our earth. We push the button and fill the little cup. Okay, we're ready to start the washing machine. Power on, normal wash, and start. Soon the clothes will spin round and round and water will enter the barrel. And guess who loves to watch the clothes spin round and round? Little Kitty. Say hi to our fans, Kitty. Mommy Pig knows that the washing machine takes about one hour. It's 12.15 now, so the laundry will be done at 1.15. Peppa decides to go to her craft room and play with Kitty. She 
She hears the beep. The laundry's ready, Mommy. All right. We need to take all of the laundry out of the washing machine and put it in the dryer. Peppa stuffs it in and closes the door. Hold on a minute, Peppa. We need to check the lint trap. Yes, there's definitely lint. Let's clear it out so that we can run the dryer safely. We'll run the dryer for 20 minutes on low heat. Okay, it's all dry. Oh, it's so warm. Peppa and George love to jump in the clean laundry. Mmm, it smells so fresh and clean. Peppa and George help Mommy put the laundry away. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Miffy and her family are taking the red Peppa Pig car and they're going to visit some friends. Their friends are camping, but on the way, they're going to stop at a big castle. I love going on car rides with my family. <laughs> They've arrived at the castle, and unfortunately, dogs are not allowed inside. So Snuffy must stay in the car. It's not a hot day. You never leave a dog in the car on a hot day. The first thing Miffy and her family notice is a big kitty. She's like the dragon protecting the castle. A tour guide meets them at the door. Hi and welcome to the castle. I have my flashlight. Are you ready to go inside? Just stick with me and you'll know where to go. Open sesame. Let's go in before the big dragon wakes up. Miffy and her mom make it to the top of the castle. Look, mom, we can see the dragon. Dad goes and visits Snuffy to make sure he's okay in the car. Hi, Snuffy. We won't be long. It's a short tour. Miffy explores every room in the castle. There are so many rooms. It's huge. They even run into their friends Peppa and Mummy Pig at the very top. Hello. Nice to see you. Well, thank you for coming on the tour of the castle. See you again soon. <laughs> Miffy and her family arrive at their friend's campsite. It's the Teletubbies. And look, they have a white and green trailer. Come on in. Miffy and her family have brought the Teletubbies a pot of cookies. Thank you for having us. Here are some cookies. They stay for drinks and snacks and have a wonderful time visiting their friends. And even Snuffy's having fun too. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, we're gonna learn ABCs with Peppa Pig and George. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's chalk ABC's book, which includes four pieces of chalk, which are in this box, and there's also a little pink sponge to clean the chalk off. So let's go to the back of the book and open up our chalk. So you just open up this little compartment, and inside is a soft pink sponge, pink like Peppa, and you just get it wet and then you rub the letter off when you 
want to erase it. Now there's four pieces of chalk. Let's open it up. And we've got green, red, green, and yellow. And I broke two pieces of the chalk accidentally trying to open this up without scissors. So I'm just gonna take our little lion scissors and I'm gonna grab the smaller piece of green chalk. I find it easier to use if you have a smaller piece. So each page is gonna teach you how to write each letter. So the first letter is A is for ant. And this is little a. So number one, you draw a circle around, two, you keep going, and three is a line. So let's start. One, two, three. And there is our A. The next letter is B is for balloon. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now my B and A don't look as perfectly as the ones in the book. And I don't expect any ones to be. C is for car. Let's make it a little bit darker. And D is for dinosaur. There we go. Now in the back of the book, you can fill in the missing letter for each name. These are Peppa's friends. Candy, cat, oops. Freddy Fox, F, and Emily Elephant. Okay, now let's wipe our chalk away clean so that we can use it again next time. So let's dip the sponge in a little bit of water. and wipe the sea clean. And it's ready to use again. And we must also for not forget to clean off our A, our B, our C, and our D. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Peppa and George are going on a picnic and they're waiting for their friend, Susie Sheep. Well, George, I wonder what Susie's going to bring for dessert. Peppa and George have brought spaghetti on the picnic. Boy, George, I'm sure getting hungry, and our spaghetti's getting cold. I think I see Susie now. Hello, George. Hello, Peppa. I brought our, our dessert for my mother helped me pack. Oh, boy, did you bring all that spaghetti for our picnic? Yes, we did. Let's all eat the spaghetti. Come on, George, you have to eat your lunch if you want any dessert. George. Banana. No, George, you cannot have a banana until you eat your lunch. Oh, goodness. George, come on. You need to eat in order to get a banana. 
And so George decided if he wanted the banana, he had to eat his lunch first. That a boy, George. Mummy will be happy that you eat lots of spaghetti. Oh! And George, Susie, and Peppa were all full from their spaghetti lunch. Oh! So full! We shouldn't have eaten so fast, said Susie Sheep. <sighs> well, what shall we do to make our tummies not full? How about we walk around? <gasps> oh, after that very lovely walk, I feel much better. Susie, can we see what's in your picnic basket? You bet. I may, I've brought fresh bananas. And I know it's one of George's favourite foods. And a fresh orange from our tree. And I also brought some yummy purple grapes. And they're very, very juicy. Oh boy. Okay, George, you can now have your banana. There are three, so there's one for each. There you go, George. And one. One little bit for Susie and one for Peppa. And you can all share my grapes as well. Oh boy, Susie. Thank you so much. Oops. This has been a wonderful picnic. We should do this more often. Oh, I am so full, but it's now time to clean up. I will help you. We cannot leave anything behind. Oh, and thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.